I'm done with the 99 cent store. I am all about the dollar store now. Hey everybody. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Rachel, and I test things so you don't have to. And I like to test out stores sometimes. I've done this on my channel for a very long time. I just do hauls. I do the Target clearance section hauls. I do the 99 cent store hauls. But I'm mad at the 99 cent store, and I have been for years. They've raised their prices, and it's disgusting, unheard of, ridiculous, rude, unrightful, disgraceful, inhumane. How can you call yourself the 99 cent only store when you have things in there for $15.99? No. But you know who's only changed their prices a little? From a dollar to a dollar 25? I'm sorry, with inflation's rate that that's going, only a 25 cent raise, I'll allow it. So I went there and I didn't quite know what I wanted. I was gonna try and cook a full gourmet meal using just foods from there. But then I got distracted and bought some other stuff as well. So this is just a dollar store haul. Let's go, ready? Let's begin. That was a terrible clap. That would, that was a good one. That's a good one. I'm gonna start strong. I'm gonna put us in a really good place. I'm gonna make it so we are all happy people. What is the one flaw with cereal? Besides it being super sugary here in the States, the sealing process, right? Like why don't they seal the bags? Dollar store said, I have you. I got your back and I will caress your face as you cry into my bosom. Resealable cereal. Now, mind you, this is a very small bag of cereal, not the normal size, but oh my gosh. Resealable. I'm gonna open this right now and then I'm gonna seal it back up. A weird noise just happened. Oh my god, I was gonna talk about the weird noise and the deliciousness of this cereal. Oh, this is the best one. This is the best one. The crunch berries. Mm hmm. It's so good. Oh my god. Wait, you want one? You're gonna love it. Good? Yeah, let's reseal it. We have other things to do. We can't just eat cereal all day. <sighs> Mind blown. Happy. And don't worry, I got the Oops All Berry one too. Because I love a happy accident. Okay, I got this. I'm debating if I'm gonna make it or not. Cause I can't even eat it. I've noticed as I was strolling down the aisles of the dollar store that they put food on those shelves that probably shouldn't be consumed. They have like too many chemicals for the FDA to even consider it food. That's what they sell you at the dollar 25 store. And they said, you don't have any money? That's okay, we'll give you a huge medical bill later in life. Let's keep you unhealthy. Let's keep you just not feeling well. Let's do that. Thanks, government. But Cheetos mac and cheese. Also, the funny thing is, I don't even like mac and cheese. It's like one of my few flaws. But I saw this and I said, I need to buy this so that someone in my house that just comes to visit or whatever can eat it. Look it, it even has the spiral noodles. It's not like the macaroni noodle. Oh no, it's got the good stuff. It's got the goods. Yeah. Yeah. Blaze is just hovering. Are you hovering? Cause you know I always buy you something. Here you go. Dog toy, 125. Go get it. Go play, go. A dog toy for 125. Can't beat it. Literally can't beat it. One bag, done. I'm so happy. A giant air freshener for your car. Blaze is just gonna make noise now the whole time. trouble. He's usually already done. Oh, did you get the squeaker? No. All right. I have never in my life seen a car hangy thing this large before, but here it is. Let's see if it actually smells good. Oh yeah. Oh, that smells like, oh, that, wow. Woo. It took me back to childhood. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I'm feeling warm inside. There's a childhood memory and I don't know what it is, but I feel it and I feel warm and cozy. And for some reason I'm imagining a bunny. Why? Why I'm warm and happy and I'm fuzzy and there's a bunny involved. And I have no idea and I'm being extremely truthful. I don't know what memory I'm remembering at all. Like I don't have anything, but I'm, I have a good feeling and it's childhood and for some reason a bunny. I don't wanna put it on as a necklace. It's not gonna fit. Okay, oh I know. I just wanna smell this smell always. Heal my inner child. <sighs> That's good. That's good stuff. All right. It's a nightlight. That's a dinosaur! $1.25. Are you kidding me? Open up. 
Look how cute that tiny little light bulb is. Adorable. Did you get it out already? Oh my God, he already got the squeaker out. Good boy, thank you for dropping it. He already got it out. Whatever. That's about as long as he takes for expensive toys too. So let's go. Let's see, where's an outlet? Come on. Welcome to my jungle. Where is it? Adorable. Look at that. For only a dollar twenty-five. I love it. Lint roller. If you have dogs and cats, like I dropped it. I dropped it. I just threw it. Really. I said no, thank you. I don't want it. Compose yourself, Ballinger. Oh yeah, she's extra sticky. Oh yeah. Let's get this. Look at it. Ready? Clean. Absolutely clean. So 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 so. Oh, look at that, picking it up. If you're like, I don't need lint rollers. Yes, you do. Always lint roll yourself. Trust me. Okay. All right, now the true test for a lint roller is how easy is it to unroll to the next layer? So it passed the getting stage. Like it can get, also it doesn't undo itself while you're trying to get, but how hard is it to get to the next layer? Now, if you're an avid lint roller human being, you'll know that this is important. So easy. So easy. It's so easy, Blaze. Can I lint roll you? Let's see if you'll let me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's just So uh, just pet your dog with a lint roller. Then you won't have to lint roll yourself. Okay, I am really curious, because this is 40 sheets. I need to look up on Amazon a lint roller. Just like one lint roller, how much does it cost? Because I need to know I got a bargain. Also, that one is a very good one. It is sticky, it doesn't fall apart while you're using it, and it's easy to get to the next layer. Guys, this is actually a big deal to me. Lint rollers. I gotta do math. So let's say, this is a value pack. I don't know how good it is, but $15 divided by 800, 0.01 per sheet. 125 divided by 40. It's cheaper to buy a pack on Amazon, but if you just need one, this is very convenient. And this one works. Next product. I got myself a, a St. Patty's Day tie. I thought it was important. No, oh, I can't get them on. Does this come off? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm looking good. I'm looking spiffy. This is the, this is the way to, hold on, I did this. Let's get real. Let's get down to business. Okay, oh, yeah, this is very great. I got two of these because I didn't know what they were and I wanted them. What are these? They're squishy surprise. Collect all six styles. So you don't know what you're getting when you buy it? Oh my God. It's so squishy. It's so squishy. It's so squishy and it's cute and it's squishy. Okay, and then I got another one because you're supposed to collect all six, right? It's a teddy bear. It's a teddy bear. I kind of want to go back and get more. Oh, it's like gambling, but for children. Yeah, these are, okay, if you're a tactile person, you like to feel things, this is a positive. This is a good addition to your life. Trust me. Oh yeah. Get it. Get it. Into it. I love myself. I got myself another one. I didn't even know. Is this a narwhal? What is this? Yes! I have three now. What will I do with them? No one knows. Probably forget they exist after I film this, but they're cute. You know how cute these things are. Oh, and they're squishy. I don't know. I'm supposed to smash them open and then there's a toy inside. Who doesn't want to smash something open? So excited. I got two, just in case. Oh, I see, they get you angry. They start you off angry because you can't get to it. Okay, oh, it's plastic. For some reason I thought it was gonna be like chalk. Here we go, ready to smash it open? Sit. Watch out. actually a toy inside? I must have missed that. I don't know how I did though. Okay, I'm gonna softly break this one open and see what in the world a toy is. <gasps> what? Okay, this is the, oh God, I dropped it. Okay, now I kinda know what I'm looking for. A toy of this size. I didn't see it come out. All right, 
Well, that's fun because you're allowed to smash something open and we all like that, right? And then you're supposed to put it back together again, like Humpty Dumpty. This is gonna make you wanna smash it. Can I use tape? I wanna use tape. I don't even have any tape. That took way longer than it should have. <laughs> All right, now we just have food left. Food that is chemicals that should just not be given to a human being. So we're, here we have Slurpers, green apple. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it smells good. It is glucose syrup, water, citric acid, malic acid, flavor, potassium, sorbate, color, F, D, and C, blue, number one, yellow, number five. Choking hazard. Mother that's delicious. <laughs> that's good. Oh, I'm mad. That is so delicious. Gosh darn it. All right. No, I can't have any more. That's just straight sugar. My teeth will rot. So obviously we're gonna have Jellios. What? I just made that name up. Jello candy squares, sour berry. Ooh, they smell, they smell like the sour uh, straws. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be good. Subtle, they're not super sour. Mmm, these are good. Mmm, yeah, oh, these are good. Why do they have the best tasting things or the worst things for you? Oh my God, I'm livid, absolutely livid. Oh, I can feel my teeth rotting and my body decaying, I love it. All right, now, I just want people to see these. I don't even think I'm gonna drink them because I don't wanna die. But I've never seen a kiwi strawberry monster before, a cold brew nitro infused monster, and a warhead sour blue raspberry soda. Disgusting, but I'm sure so good, so good. And then I also got, <sighs> come on, I'll show you. Look at what I found. Unicorn cotton candy waffles. That's not a real thing. That's not real. I just, come on now. I mean, we're gonna toast it up. It's got a little dairy in it, so I can't eat a bunch. I'll give these to my friend Zara afterwards. But I gotta heat them up. I gotta taste it. They're cotton candy flavored. They don't smell like anything, but I smell like childhood happiness. I also found two other things. These are the last two things. We have a Sour Patch Kids watermelon ice pops and then swirl sticks, cotton candy. Oh, they're small. <gasps> These are the Sour Patch ones. Not strong in flavor. I'm actually not blown away by this. That's not good. Mm -mm. Very subtle. Yeah, no, I would go with something else. Maybe a swirl stick. Let's try that. Also tiny. That's the thing with the dollar store. It might be only a dollar, but it's gonna be like a tinier version of something else. Okay, it's just cotton candy. I would do this one. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's like eating condi cotton candy, but refreshing. Yeah, that's the good stuff. All right, my waffle's almost done. Ooh, it smells really good. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little butter on it and taste it like that, because I don't wanna drench it in syrup. I wanna get the full cotton candy flavor. Here we go. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's actually a very good waffle. It's like thick and perfectly crispy and fluffy. It doesn't smell like cotton candy. And the flavor is so faint that I wouldn't have noticed it unless you told me. Hmm, all right. The frozen stuff, not wowing me. Everything else?
This is literally just like a spoon for my butter at this point. All right, y'all, that was $30 worth of stuff from the dollar store, and I'm happy. You will find some good tasting food there, and you'll find some cute toys, but they won't be that much fun. They actually might be frustrating, but you never know. You might find something that just hits home. Seriously, what am I remembering? It feels so good though. All right, I love you guys. That's it for this video. If there's ever any products you'd like me to test, stores you'd like me to peruse, do hauls, whatever, I'm here to entertain you, so please let me know down below. I love you guys. You're wonderful, beautiful. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday on this channel. Also, make sure you're hitting that bell notification so you get notified when I post. Also, check out my vlog channel, my podcast channel, my TikTok, my Instagram, and my Snapchat. I love you all, and I will see you next time. Bye!